A shock mount is a mic fastener that elastically holds a mic to a stand while reducing vibrations, especially those of low frequency vibrations. This video is going to demonstrate the difference between using a shock mount and using the standard mount that comes with a microphone like this Neumann TLM 102. The shock mount being featured today is the purple Aston version of the Envision USM made by Rycoat. It's a universal shock mount designed to safely hold a variety of mics in any direction you point it, even upside down. I'm going to run a quick test where I tap from the mic itself all the way down to the stand base. From there, I'll do a little walking around at the base to see if that picks up as well. It's clear that as I move farther away from the mic, the tapping gets softer, and it's not too boomy in the low frequencies. Now, I'll replace the shock mount with the mount that came with this microphone. Right away, I think the difference is clear that the mic is picking up a lot more low end from my tapping. Having a shock mount can drastically reduce the frequencies picked up by an accidental bump from an instrument or a dancing singer who's pounding their feet a little too hard into the floor. It could ruin your take. Or, just in case your mic drops to the ground, there's a chance that the shock mount may absorb the impact of the blow. They are not perfect devices, but they may protect you from unforeseen rumbling. And most engineers think it's better to use one than to not, even if it's just more aesthetically pleasing to you or one of your clients. Shock mounts can usually be bought cheaply online, but I decided to spend a little more on this universal shock mount because I plan on buying a variety of mics in all shapes and sizes and don't want to worry about having a specific shock mount for each. I hope this was a clear enough demonstration. Let me know if you use a shock mount in the comments below. Like this video if you like it, dislike this video if it sucked, and check out my page for more videos on audio production, recording, and Ableton Live. And never stop making music.